Hello gardeners. A few days ago I put out a video on one method um, to control squash vine borers once they've already entered your plant and that was to cut them out and then bury the stem so the plant can reroot. Uh, I'll link that video in the description below um, but today I want to give you uh, another method of handling squash vine borers once they've already entered your plant. So this method will be good if uh, you have too many squash vine borers in one plant to safely be able to cut them out without irreparably damaging the stem um, and causing the, the plant to die. Um, it's also good um, if you just have too many plants to go doing surgery on every single one of them or even inspect every single one of them. You can do this to prevent um, further infestation if you started noticing one plant may have squash vine borers, but the other ones still look okay. The borer might just not be in the stem yet. Um, and by doing this, you can uh, kill the borer before it even enters your plant. And what we'll be covering today is injecting the stems with BT. Now what is BT? It is a type of bacteria that is harmful to caterpillars and larvae only if ingested. Uh, you're going to want to get yourself some BT concentrate like this. You will mix this with water, approximately one part of the BT to five parts water when injecting. For spraying on leaves, uh, just follow the recommendations on the packaging. It is a more diluted um, mixture when you're spraying it. So I just mixed some BT and water in a mug. See you will need a syringe or something with a fine enough needle to uh, inject the stem without causing a lot of damage. So you may not be able to tell, um, but I had actually buried this part of the stem right here from where I previously dug out a squash vine borer. I am starting to notice a little bit of frass on some, uh, some other plants. So I'm just gonna inject every single one of them with this BT mixture by sucking some up in my syringe. If you're trying to kill one that is actively in there, you wanna go right around where the frass is, that orange sawdust that I uh, pointed out in my last video, as well as right above it. Make sure not to poke all the way through the stem or else your efforts will be futile. Just inject in multiple places. You'll know when you're in the middle of stem because you'll get very little resistance trying to push the plunger down of your, uh, of your syringe. And you can use quite a bit of this. I usually use almost a full syringe per plant. You can do it into the stems because a lot of times the eggs are actually laid on the stems of the leaves and then the bore will work its way down to the main stem of the plant and start eating his way in there. Now if you haven't noticed any vine borers in the stem already and you want to do this as kind of a prevention uh, to prevent them from even getting uh, into the stem, you can actually just inject along the stem uh, regardless of seeing any damage and uh, if a borer decides to try and make a meal of your squash, once they eat any area that's been touched by the BT, they will lose their appetite and starve to death. That's how BT works. It, um, it causes caterpillars and grubs to essentially lose their appetite and starve. Now, I hope it goes without saying, but please be careful. Don't poke yourself. Now, BT is 100% safe. It's not going to harm your plant. It's not going to transfer to the squash that you eat. I mean, I'm not recommending you drink the stuff. Please don't. But it is only going to impact grubs and caterpillars. Now, injecting BT into the stems is not a one and done thing. You will have to repeat it periodically, maybe once a week, uh, because the flow of water as the plants absorb it from their roots will eventually clear that out. 
as well as the plant growing. Um, but as long as you keep up with it, anything that enters the stem and munches on anywhere that BT has been in contact with will uh, will starve to death, basically. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. And I get my syringes at Tractor Supply in case you're curious. All right, have a good one. Bye.